Welcome to Ancestral Wisdom, where the wisdom of the past guides our future. Today we're going to be talking about the eighth ruin in the Elder Futhark, which is the final ruin in the first eight, Wunjo, which is kind of like a P. But what I'd like you to envision when you see the image of the ruin is rather a banner flying in the wind. And that image of the banner flying in the wind will help you to conceptualize what Wunjo means. So today we're going to talk about the true meaning of Wunjo uh, and how you can use the wisdom of that ruin to make your life better. So first, what is Wunjo? Making sure that I cover everything, so I'm looking down at my notes here a bit. Um, so think as I mentioned, Munjo is the banner flying in the breeze. What kind of banner? It's the clanic banner. It's the banner that people raise when they come together and form a society and decide that they are going to stand behind this one symbol. This symbol, which represents the fact that we are all coming together to create something more powerful and more meaningful than we would be able to create on our own. That's what society is. That's what the clan is. Not necessarily necessarily civilization, because civilization is something that's um, that can be considered similar. But civilization, uh, if you take a look at my my video on barbarity and civilization, uh, you'll you'll see my thoughts about that. So, community and clan does not necessarily mean all of the trappings of civilization. It just means a group of people coming together in order to make something greater than the individuals. Uh, and to create things greater than the individuals would be able to manifest on their own. So that is Wunjo, the coming together of different forces bound together in order to create something that is harmonious. It's the harmonious society. It's not the society that's broken, that's in decay. It's the society that's in its ascent, if not at its zenith, balanced perfectly in time, in harmony. And the word wungjo can be translated as joy <clears throat> or pleasure. <clears throat> and you can imagine that if you are harmoniously integrated into a society that has that takes all of your energy and your wisdom and uses it to its fullest capacity and at the same time provides you with all of the things that you might not be able to provide yourself if you were working alone so taking taking all of all of your energies and all of the energy of, of everyone else in the society and having it benefit each other in perfect harmony, you will feel an ecstasy of harmony. Something that we don't really often feel today in our own countries. But that type of harmony is to be had. Those moments of pure and perfect balance are to be had. I mean, anything is ever really perfect, but it can be perfect in its imperfection, and it can be perfect in its war between chaos and order within itself, as long as it's in balance. And so that's what Wenzhou means. It's the balance of disparate forces into harmony. There are three different ways that that can be manifested in in reality, one we already mentioned is in the society where the disparate forces of the individuals connect and harmonize with each other to form the greater society, which is symbolized by the clanic banner. But the same thing can be true of you and your own life. You can take all of the disparate forces within yourself and balance them. Uh, as we've discussed before on this channel, you can take all of the traits which are symbolically represented by the gods and balance them within yourself become uh, Hercules or the Odysseus who who represents the summation of, of all of the traits of the gods in perfect harmony with each other 
harmonize yourself and become within yourself a perfect, harmonious integration. And you will be able to partake in this joyous energy of Wunjo. The other way that you can use this, aside from your individual harmony and the harmony of a uh, greater community, and that community could be family, which is like an immediate family community. It could be a greater family. It could be your town. It could be your school. So it doesn't have to be your, your country or, or your political society. It could be any group of people that come together in order to uh, harmonize, right? So don't think if your if your country's never going to get there that you can't experience the joy of Wunjo in a society because you can. The other way that you can use Wunjo is is within your magical workings, and it's a great force to draw upon to bind different ruins together. Now, taking the first eight because the Elder Food Arc is separated into three sets of eight ruins. This is the last ruin in the first eight. Well, it makes sense that this is the last ruin in the first eight, because you're taking the previous ruins, and if all of the previous ruins, all of the lessons that you've learned from the previous ruins are in perfect balance, then you'll achieve within yourself part of this force, this essence, this energy in one jump if you have that spark fehu and you cultivate the mental and physical health of urus and you're able to protect against attack thurzas the wisdom balanced by the wisdom of Ansu's and Odin. If you're able to follow the the natural paths represented by Rido and, and the course of the sun, and use that that natural path to find the best way to join energy and, and invention and create something new represented by the fires of Canons. And you are able to enter into a, a social, spiritual, and personal pact with the forces of Gabo, of gift for a gift. If you can harmonize all of those things together and manifest all of those lessons that we've learned from the first seven ruins within your life, then you will have achieved part of the joy inherent in one job. You has betrothed us, so we lot he was. But can no way woman us. Lagusing was digger. Oh, father. 